Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakat. Uh, this is Ahir Mahmood from the UK presenting on behalf of the Daily Reminder Network. A question has come and that question is, if at the time of death, shaitan convinces a person and takes him away from Islam, will that person die on Iman or will he die on Kufr, although he spent his entire life on Iman? The answer to this is that, firstly, we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to take us on Iman. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that, إِنَّمَا الْعَمَالُ بِالْخَوَاتِينَ that actions are according to only the final outcome, the final. So even though a person may have spent his entire life on Iman, when a person dies, he dies on disbelief. He's convinced by shaitan that Allah doesn't exist. He may be convinced by shaitan that Islam is not the true religion. Then in the eyes and the scales of Allah, we will take the wahid, we will take the apparent that this person has died on kufr. And this is why it is very important that we always make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us from this dunya with iman. In another narration, the Prophet sallallahu said, a person spends his entire life on iman, but right at the end of his life, he says words of kufr, he does actions of kufr, then that person will enter into the fire of Jahannam. And another person spends his entire life on disbelief, but the last actions are actions of Iman. He submits to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he takes the shahada, then he will enter into Jannah. So this is very important that we always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us from this dunya in the state of Iman. We always ask for protection. Conversely, let me just add that the Prophet sallallahu said, "Man kana akhiru kalamihi la ilaha illa Allah dakhal jannah." That a person whose final kalam is la ilaha illa Allah, the final thing that he utters is la ilaha illa Allah, that person will enter into Jannah. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala safeguard us all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability to live on Iman and Islam and leave this dunya on Iman and Islam. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, although it's attributed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but it's actually a statement of the Salaf. They say that the greatest ni'mah, alhamdulillahi ala ni'matil Islam wa kifa biha ni'mah. All praise be to Allah on the ni'mah and the favor of Islam. And if we had no other favor besides the favor of Islam, that would have sufficed. What this means that is that if a person that has no wealth, no health, no family, you know, even he has no arms, no legs, but he leaves this dunya with iman in the scales of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this person is successful. And conversely, if he has all the wealth, the wealth of Qarun, the, the power of Fir'aun, but he leaves this dunya without Iman in the eyes of Allah, this man is unsuccessful. And that is the only thing which counts in the scales of Allah SWT. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.